So let us derive the expression for the electric potential due to a spherical shell at a point P outside it. Suppose we have a spherical shell of center O and radius capital R. Let this spherical shell is provided with positive charge on its surface uniformly distributed. That is, let the magnitude be Q. Q. Let Q be the charge on the surface of the shell. Okay. So, we have to find the potential provided by this spherical shell at the point P outside the shell. And let the distance between the point O, the that is center of the shell, and the point P be some R. R. This distance is equal to R. So, what basically this potential at the point P means, actually the work done to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to that point P. That is, if you bring one coulomb of charge from infinity to the point P, that is the potential at the point P. And by the definition of electric field, we have electric field is equal to minus dV by dr. This is actually the relationship between electric field and electric potential. We already have derived this equation. If you want to know, you can always go back and check the video. And the topic is relationship between electric field and electric potential. And from this equation, you have dV, that is potential difference is equal to minus EV. Let's call this as equation number 1. So, to get the total potential V, you must integrate this equation, that is minus E dr. And the variable is dr and the limit of integration is from infinity to the distance r. So, infinity to r. So, V is equal to, you can take this minus outside, infinity to r. Now, the value of E, you know that value of electric field at the point P due to this spherical shell is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, the charge on the shell divided by the distance between the center of the shell and the point P, that is R square, distance square, okay, R square into dr. And now you have to integrate this one. So, you can take 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 and q since they are constant to outside the integral. So, minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 integral infinity to r 1 by r square dr. Okay. Now, the potential v will be, let me erase this. We have v is equal to minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0. The integral you can write this as infinity to r r raised to minus 2 dr. Okay. So, v is equal to minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0. If you integrate r raised to minus 2, you can write this as r raised to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. This is the integral of r raised to minus 2. Now, you have to put the limit infinity to r. So, this will be v equal to minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r raised to minus 1 by minus 1 infinity to r within the limits infinity to r. You can take this minus 1 outside minus q divided by minus 4 pi epsilon 0 and r raised to minus 1 can be written as 1 by r and the limit is infinity to r. You can cancel this minus and you have to put the upper and lower limit so that you will get v is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon 0 1 by r First, the upper limit minus 1 by infinity. But this 1 by infinity is actually 0. 
so the potential will be q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r or you can write this as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r so this is the expression for the potential at a point p outside the sphere now what about the electric potential at on the sphere that is potential potential on the sphere you only have to take the special case in here that is on the sphere we have r is equal to equal to this this radius that is the radius of the sphere you have to change this r and put the value of capital r so the potential on the surface v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r so this is the expression for potential due to a spherical shell on its surface now we have to find the capacitance of the spherical shell what what you mean by capacitance we have by definition capacitance capacitance let's represent it using the letter c is equal to charge divided by potential we have q is charge is equal to capacitance into potential so that capacitance is equal to by definition itself it is charge divided by potential therefore c is equal to you know charge on the sphere is q the potential we already found that 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r you can cancel this and this whole term go to up on go to the numerator so c will be 4 pi epsilon 0 r clear so this is the capacitance of a spherical capacitor or a spherical shell capacitance of a spherical shell clearly from this equation you know these these all terms are constant so c is equal to some constant into r or c proportional to r so as the radius of the shell increases its capacitance radius increases capacitance also increases clear